Coming up on the Wisconsin Vegetable Gardener Podcast, join Hollywood Talk about gardening trends for 2013, their garden tip of the week, their vegetable of the week. They're always prepping for unknown events and reusing and repurposing to save a few dollars. Their guest this week, she is the administrator of Garden Chat, social media representative Brenda H. will be on the program. The link is in the show notes and it'll be live January 2nd, 6 a.m. Central Standard Time on BePreparedRadio.com and downloadable from iTunes. Sponsored in part by DollarSeed.com for your flowers, vegetables, and herbs. All organic seeds, all only a dollar a pack. DollarSeed.com and by WillowSpringsSoap.com. Handmade soaps with simple recognizable ingredients, making soaps using the cold kettle process while using traditional methods. WillowSpringsSoap.com. Welcome to the Wisconsin Vegetable Garden Extra. I'm Holly Baird. Well, today we are going to make homemade crackers, and you can make these real simply with ingredients that you just have around your house, and you can add different things in. But I'm going to show you the basics here. So, in the bowl, in a medium-sized bowl here, we have two-thirds cup of warm water. So, not hot, not lukewarm, just warm. Then, to that, we're going to add about a teaspoon of salt. I'm going to do a little bit less there, and then to that. We're going to add a third of a cup of olive oil, or you could use grapeseed oil. And then to that, we're going to add two cups of flour. I'm going to do a half of a cup of pumpkin flour, and then a cup and a half of whole wheat pastry flour. Um, We prefer to use the pumpkin flour because we have it on hand. And simply because, you know, it just adds more fiber and a little bit of different flavor. And you don't have to, like, sift it or anything like that. You can just add it as is. And we do have a video on how, how to make the pumpkin flour. Um, and we can put that in the show notes in case you want to see it. All right. So there's my half of a cup. So I'll add that in. Get this all the way. And then I'm going to add a cup and a half of regular flour, or this is whole wheat pastry flour. One, two, and three. Okay, so that's the basic recipe, and then you just stir it until it's well combined. But what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add <clears throat> some chia seeds. Chia seeds are high in omega-3 and fiber and protein, so I'm just gonna add a tablespoon to give them some extra you know, give the crackers a little something extra. Right. Then I'm going to add some sesame seeds. Normally, adding them to a recipe, I would toast them, but since they're going in the oven, I'm not going to toast them. I'll do about, about a tablespoon of those as well. And then we made homemade onion powder, and I like onion flavored stuff, so I'm going to add a teaspoon of this. So now, I'm just going to stir to till it's all combined. It's going to be like a dough consistent. Okay. All right, so that's pretty well combined. So then what you want to do is you want to take a large size cookie sheet. And I have this baking mat here and I actually um, greased it with some coconut oil and I put coconut oil on my roller as well that might not be necessary but I've never done this with the baking sheet so I'm just gonna cover you know all my bases here okay so then you can just kind of roll it out you can also use your hands if that's easier as well and you just want to have it evenly Distributed. Okay, so to make it a little bit easier to roll out, I'm just putting some flour on the rolling pin, which is just an old, you know, classic way of making things easier to roll out. We have the oven preheated to 375 degrees. Okay, so now we've got this rolled out to a pretty good consistency. You can always, if you want thinner crackers, you could always take half and then do half and half, but I'm happy with this and we're just going to leave the edges because they're going to crisp up and they'll be a little bit, you know, fun. So then you take a knife, I'm just going to use this paring knife here, and you cut them to however you want to cut them. If you have one of those uh, 
I think it's a pasta cutting wheel. You could do that too, but this works just fine. And then you can do squares or rectangles, or if you have little ones, you could always do like with cookie cutters, that could be fun also. But then you would wanna roll it out on some parchment paper or wax paper, and then use the cookie cutters, so. All right, so let me straighten this in. So I'm gonna put it in the oven for about 15 minutes or until they become golden brown. I'm just gonna go with the 15 minutes um, because it might be hard to kind of tell what, because of the color that these are. All right, and in the oven they go. And we'll set the timer for 15 minutes. So there you have it, homemade crackers. And what we did is after we pulled them out of the oven, we slid them off of the baking sheet and put them onto um, the cooling rack here. And that way they cool a little bit faster. And as you can see, they uh, crisp up pretty nicely there. And they're quite delicious. So there's a lot of different variations. I'm gonna go ahead and put the recipe on our website, which is the wisconsinvegetablegardener.com. And I just re newly designed that, redid some different things. So go ahead and check it out. Again, if you like our video and you want to learn more, please feel free to comment, subscribe, and check out our channel. Again, my name is Holly Baird, and this has been a Wisconsin Vegetable Gardener Extra.